Hi, y'all. Welcome back to the Susquehanna University Career Development Center's YouTube channel. Today, we are continuing our LinkedIn series and maximizing LinkedIn. So we're going to continue by talking about the alumni tool on LinkedIn. And so this is going to be a really quick, pretty brief video and talking about using the alumni tool to your advantage and connecting with alumni who may be doing the work that you're currently doing or doing the work that you hope to do in the future. And so I'm going to show you how to use the alumni tool and maximize it to then connect with alumni and potentially set up a informational interview and create a relationship. So the first step is going to be sus searching Susquehanna University. So I'm going to type Susquehanna and I'm going to go to their LinkedIn page. So here you're going to see, and this is also a very good example of a company web page or a company LinkedIn page. And so it will look similar to a individual profile, but it, they all have these commonalities of their image, their cover photo, you can view the website, and down the left-hand side is going to be home, about, jobs, alumni, and down the middle is going to be the updates, so anytime Susquehanna University posts, this is what you're going to see. And down the right-hand side is going to be similar pages, so I like using these similar pages when you are doing company research and you'll be able to see institutions that maybe are nearby or are similar, similar companies. But for the alumni tool, we're going to get to this page and go down to alumni. So when I click on alumni, I'm going to see all 13,931 alumni that are on LinkedIn. And I'll be able to search, but then I'll also be able to see where they live, where they work, I click next, what they do, what they studied, what they're skilled at, how you're connected. So this is giving us a lot of really great data that you can take a look at and see what students or alumni have done in the past. You'll also be able to see where they live and let's say you want to end up in greater New York City area. If I click on that, it's going to show me all of the alumni that live in New York. And so that is a really great tool to use for filtering searches. And if I wanted to look at J.P. Morgan Chase, Greater New York City area, it's going to show me all of the alumni that work at J.P. Morgan and live in New York. So that is a really great tool to use in that sense. But then I can also just search based on my personal preferences. So let's say I want to do social media. I will search social media and it will pull up all of the alumni who have social media in somewhere in their profile. So Matthew is a social media coordinator at Luce Ristorante and he graduated in 2012 with a degree in psychology. Um, you'll see that they're a third connection to me so we're separated by a few degrees. But one thing to keep in mind is that LinkedIn also looks at current students as alumni, so it can be really helpful to indicate the end year by changing it to when students maybe started here. So right now 2015 is, the year is 2018 and a lot of our, or 2019, wow. Um, but right now it's 2019 and a lot of our graduating seniors started in 2015. So if I change that end year to 2015, it's going to show me all of the alumni who are have already graduated from Susquehanna as opposed to potentially current students being in that mix. So I really like to use this tool to identify individuals that I want to connect with and have a conversation with. So I know that Kate works here at Tuscohanna and let's say I'm interested in social media, I would go ahead and click on her profile and I'm going to see where she has social media in her profile. So for at first it's very obvious because she has it in her headline but then I can also look at her history and her experience and see how she got to be where she's at. 
So this is great for researching and modeling your own personal path to the point of where that individual is at now. Now, I could also look at an individual who doesn't have social media in their profile or in their headline. And so here is an alum who graduated in 13 who is an associate media director at Mediacom. So she doesn't have social media in her profile or in her headline. And though it might not be outright obvious, she may have it somewhere in her profile. So perhaps she's done it in the past. And so I can go down to her experience and see that she has done other digital media um, and was a social media intern in, back in 2013 at a company. And so let's say I'm a student who's interested in being a social media intern. I can then contact this alum and say, hello, um, my name is so-and-so. I am a communication student at Susquehanna University, and I'm interested in, one, the work that you're doing now, but I'm also interested in the work that you did when you were a social media intern, and I was hoping that you would be willing to connect with me. So when I do go to connect with her, I can click connect, and I would highly recommend that you use this add a note feature. So with that, I'll click on add a note and it will say they're more likely to accept invita invitations that include a note. So I would type exactly what I just said. Hello, my name is, tell them who you are, why you want to connect, and hope to hear from you, right? So this is a piece that is going to be really important in your internship or your job search, your research, um, just in general. Connecting with individuals and networking is going to take you from being a no-name in the resume pile to a name that's being recommended by someone else in that industry. And so that is how you get your name to the top of the pile. So using the alumni tool to find individuals who are doing the work that you hope to do in the future can be really helpful in doing your own personal research and understanding what it is that, what advice they would give. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. Okay, going back. So on pause. So using the alumni tool to research and find alumni who are doing the work that you are hoping to do in the future can help you in a variety of ways. One of which being giving you some concrete examples of how individuals have gone from their education to their first positions and how they've progressed throughout their career. So that can help you with some research and have an understanding of you know, what are some entry-level positions that I'm qualified for and how do I get to the place that they are at in their career? But it can also be a great opportunity to connect and set up informational interviews. So informational interviews are 20 to 30 minute conversations, whether it be over coffee, over the phone, um, something in person. Have that conversation with an alum and you're asking them questions about their career, what advice they might give someone, and creating a relationship with someone who is currently in the field and giving them some context for who you are, having a name, maintaining relationships, and talking with them on a regular basis can give you a leg up in the job search, internship search. So... One piece of advice that I really like to hold on to is that you should build your network before you need it because maintaining relationships and building relationships takes time. You don't just become best friends with someone overnight, right? So we need to be able to connect with someone and have a few conversations with them and become better friends with them by talking to them making a relationship, checking in, giving them updates, and um, checking in with them as well as updating them about yourself. So building those relationships will take time, and so you'll want to build it before you actually need it, meaning when you need it in a job search, 
the goal would be to have connected th with these individuals earlier on in your career so that you already have relationships with them when you do go to search. One other piece of advice that I always like to highlight when it comes to interacting with alumni or expanding your network to people that you aren't as familiar with or maybe you don't know at all. We all sometimes are a little nervous about cold calling or cold emailing or cold messaging people that we don't know, but I always like to flip the idea on students and talk about the fact that, you know, imagine yourself in three or four years from now, maybe five or six if you're a first year, and let's say you've graduated from Susquehanna and you're working in a really cool job at an awesome company, and a you're on LinkedIn one day and you see a message from a Susquehanna student who reaches out. They say, my name is so-and-so, I am studying X, Y, and Z at Susquehanna, and I'm really interested in the work that you're currently doing. Would you be willing to schedule a time to talk to me over the phone or in person to discuss the work you're doing and how I can better prepare myself to do that in the future? Would you, as a graduate of Susquehanna University, be willing to do that for that individual? Nine times out of ten, the answer is a resounding yes. I don't think I've ever talked to someone who wouldn't be willing to have that conversation. And so keeping in mind that the alumni network we have is so, so, so amazing, and we have individuals who are so willing to give back and help out to Susquehanna, and so making sure that you kind of qualm those fears and say, these are people too, they've been in my shoes, they know what it's like, and we genuinely want to help other people. And remembering that whenever you hit that connect button can be really helpful to kind of get over that initial fear and reach out. So that is all I have for today in talking about the alumni tool. And we will see y'all later. Have a great day. For more information about the Career Development Center, stop by during office hours in Fisher Hall, room 211, or contact us at our phone number or email address.